Hello friends, this video on data handling part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let us try to calculate mode. So here again heights of 25 children are given and you will have to calculate mode. Now what is mode? That data which corresponds to the maximum frequency. So in order to calculate mode, first of all we need to prepare, I mean we need to organize this data in a tabular form. So how do we organize this data? So let us first arrange the data in increasing order. But this time what we will do is, so whenever we have to calculate mode, we generally do not write the repeating data over and over again. Instead, we write everything once and then we will write their frequency using tally marks. So let us say we create these columns. First column is for height. The second column is for the tally marks and the third column is for frequency just to see how many times each data gets repeated. So the smallest height that you have is 16. And then the next one is 160, then 161, then 162, 163, 164, 165, 168. So these are the different heights that you have. Right? Now, how many times each of these heights occur? So 16 occurs 1, 160. This occurs 3 times. So you see 1, 2, and 3 so it occurs 3 times 161 occurs once 162 occurs 4 times 163 occurs a 9 times so this is 5 this this dot when you you know scratch it it represents 5 so this total represents 5 then you have 6 7 8 9 So 164 it gets repeated 3 times, 165 also 3 times, 168 once. So let us write the frequency. It is 1, 3, 1, 4, 9, 3, 3, 1. So this is how we prepared the frequency distribution table. Now we have to find out the mode. So mode will correspond to that data which maximum frequency. So which is our maximum frequency? Maximum frequency is 9. And what is the data corresponding to the maximum frequency? It is 163. So therefore here mode is 163. Now what does this mean? This means that maximum children have a height of 163 centimeters. So when you look at a class which has 25 students, most of the students have a height of 163 centimeters. So in that sense, it is also a central tendency because this is the height which is, uh, which is being acquired by most of the students in the class. So that ways it is a central tendency of the group of data. So this is how we calculate mode. Now, do you think that the value of mode and mean of a group of data will always be the same? No, not really. It is not necessary that the value of mode and mean will always be the same. Sometimes coincidentally, the two values can be the same, but otherwise there is no such rule that they need to be same. So let us look at this set of data, which represents scores of different students in a class. And let us try to find out mean as well as mode for this set of data. So let us try to calculate mean. So how do we calculate mean? Mean is the sum of the scores divided by the number of scores. So sum of the scores would be 70 plus 45 plus 70 plus 70 plus 42 plus 55 plus 61 plus 70 plus 80. So sum of the scores divided by number of scores 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this divided by 9. So the value that you get is 62.55. So this is the mean. That means the average score of the class is 62.55. If we assume that all the students have scored equal marks, then the score of each student is 62.55. So this is the meaning of mean of the student score. Now let us try to calculate mode. 
Now when we calculate mode, what do we do? We need to find out that data whose frequency is maximum. So for that we will have to prepare the frequency distribution table. So let us draw one column for score, let us draw another column for tally and the last column for frequency. So what are the different scores? Let's arrange it in some order that would also be better. Let's say we write 42, then 45, 55, 61, 70 and 80. These are the different scores obtained by students. So how many students scored 42? Only one. 45, one. 55, one. 61, one. 70, four. 80, one. So basically, so this should be written like this in tally. So this would be 1, 1, 1, 1, 4 and 1. So which is the maximum frequency? 4. And this maximum frequency is for which data? It is for 70. Therefore, the mode of this data would be 70. So what does this mean? This means that maximum number of students in the class scored 70. So you see the values of mean and mode, they are not equal. Mean is 62.55, mode is 70. But both of them in some way uh, convey a message about the overall performance of the class. So if the t class teacher of this class goes to the principal and tells that the average score of the class is 62.55. So the principal gets an idea that, okay, if I assume that everybody scored equal, then each student scored 62% marks. Now the same teacher if goes and tells the principal that the mode of the student score of class 7 is 70. That would mean that most of the students in the class, maximum number of students in the class scored 70. So both of them in some way convey a, 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 a generic information about the overall performance of the class. So please understand the difference between the two, mean and mode. They are not the same thing. They are two different things, but both of them represent the central tendency of a group of data in two different ways. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.